Hey friends, my name is Alex and in this video, we'll be taking a look at how you can access your database on the edge from a Next.js application using Prisma and the Prisma Data Proxy. The edge is a form of serverless compute that allows running server-side code geographically closer to your user. Traditionally, applications that required such computation would be deployed to a single region such as US East 1. The edge works similarly to serverless functions but without the cold starts because they have a smaller runtime that leads to fast startup times. Examples of such environments include Brussels Edge Runtime and Cloudflare Workers. Now, this all sounds great, but one of the limitations that you may run into while working with on the edge is that you can't access a traditional database. And this is because edge environments only support HTTP-based connections and traditional databases require long-lived TCP connections. One way that you can get around this limitation is by using the Prisma Data Proxy. It's a proxy server for your database that allows you to interact with your database over HTTP and manage a connection pool for your database. Let's see how you can do that. The demo app that we'll use for this tutorial is a random code generator built with Next.js, Prisma, and Tailwind CSS. This is the deployed version of the application that's already running on Vercel's Edge functions. It has one server-side rendered route and an API route that makes a request to the database and then returns a random quote. Now with me is the starter application which I've already cloned and installed the dependencies. If you'd like to follow along with the rest of the tutorial, the link to the starter application will be included in the video's description. It's already configured to use Vercel's Edge runtime with the experimental edge config in the next.config.js file, index.tsx file and the quote.ts API route. The package.json file contains a Vercel build script that runs Prisma Migrate Deploy, which applies any pending migrations to the production database during the build step. Inside the Prisma folder, we have a schema.prisma file. In this case, we have one model defined called quote with the ID, content, author, created at, and updated at fields. The application will use a Postgres database, which is specified inside the data source block. The project also contains a seed.ts file, which is responsible for seeding the database with sample data contained in the data.json file. The data.json file contains 178 quotes. The Prisma folder also contains a migration folder that contains an SQL migration that creates the quote table in the database. The starter project also has a prisma.ts file inside the lib folder that defines a Prisma client instance that will be used to query the database across the entire application. Inside the pages folder, the index.tsx file contains a get server side props, which returns a count of all the records in the quotes table and then generates a random number and then fetches a quote whose ID is equivalent to the random number that we created. The route then renders the data on the page, displaying the author and the name. The quote API route contains similar logic. However, the difference is that the API route caches the response for a minute. Let's now update the application and make it functional. We'll first sync the Prisma schema with the database schema and then seed the database with some sample data. We'll then create a GitHub repository and push our code upstream to GitHub. This is essential because we need to import the project in the Prisma data platform so that we can create a Prisma data proxy connection string. After that, we'll regenerate Prisma client and update the application to use an edge compatible version of Prisma client. And finally, we'll then deploy the application to Versal. I haven't connected my application to any database. However, I have an empty database hosted on Railway. I'll go ahead and copy the database connection string inside the connect tab and then paste it in the .env file. Next, sync the Prisma schema with the database by running npx prisma migrate dev. Then seed the database with npx prisma db seed. And you can confirm that seeding was successful by checking the data tab on railway. Great. Next. Head over to GitHub and create a private repository on github.com slash new. I'll call my repository quote generator and leave the default options as they are and then create a repository. 
Once the repo is created successfully, copy the commands that sets up a GitHub origin and then pushes the code to GitHub. Now back in the project, initialize git and then commit all the files. Then paste in the commands that you just copied from GitHub and run it. And you can confirm that the code was successfully pushed to GitHub by refreshing the page on GitHub. Once that's done, navigate to cloud.prisma.io and sign up for a free account if you don't have one yet. After successfully logging in, create a new project by clicking the new project button, which will land you in the create project page. Fill out the project's name and your GitHub account details. I'll call my project quote generator, similar to the GitHub repository's name. Select import a GitHub repository and select the repository that I just created. You can leave the default values for the branch and Prisma schema path. Once you're happy with the changes, click next. And this will land you on the configure project page. Select use my own database and then paste in your database connection string. I'll go ahead and copy mine from my clipboard and then select the region that's closest to your database in the data proxy section. I'll stick with the default options, but in case your database is behind a firewall, uh, you can enable the static IPs that will allow the Prisma data proxy to communicate with your database. Once you're done, click Create Project to finish setting up your project. You should see a Deploy Project page with two connection strings. The first is the Prisma data proxy connection string that starts with Prisma colon and then two forward slashes. Copy this connection string to your clipboard. And the second URL is your database's connection string. Back in your project, navigate to the .env file and rename the existing database URL to migrate database URL. Redefine database URL and then paste in the connection string you just copied from the Prisma data platform. The migrate database URL will be used to apply any pending migration to the database as the app is being deployed on Versal. Next, Open up the terminal and generate Prisma client that will use Prisma data proxy by appending the data proxy flag to the generate command. Then navigate to prisma.ts inside the lib folder and update the Prisma client import from at prisma slash client to at prisma slash client slash edge to use an edge compatible version of Prisma client. Once that's done, you can test out your application locally by running npm run dev and navigating to localhost 3000. This looks pretty solid. Let's now deploy our app to Versal. Commit the changes that you made to the prisma.ts file and then push them to GitHub. Navigate to versal.com slash new and import the GitHub repository. Give your project a name and in the environment variable section, add the database URL, which is the Prisma data proxy connection string. Add your migrate database URL, that's your database's connection string. And then, and then add a Prisma generate data proxy variable whose value is true. The Prisma generate data proxy environment variable ensures that Prisma client for data proxy is generated during the build step. Click deploy to kick off the build. And once that's successful, you should see a snapshot of your home page. Then navigate to the dashboard and select overview and then select view function log and then select index from the drop down. And here you should see that the runtime is set to edge and the region is global to confirm that our application is deployed to the edge. To summarize what we covered in this video, we first briefly described what the edge is and the problem that it solves. We then took an existing application using Prisma and Next.js and used the Prisma data proxy to allow database access on the edge, and then finally deployed the application to Vercel's edge network. The edge is fairly young and promising, and the ecosystem for best practices when working with distributed applications are yet to be figured out. The pattern that I've showed you in the video might not cater for a real world use case, but it will be exciting to see the opportunities that open up in this space. If you'd like to learn more about database access on the edge with Next.js, Vercel, Prisma, and the Prisma data proxy, I've included a link in the video description to a blog post that goes in depth to all this. 
I hope you found this video insightful and if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section, create a GitHub discussion or tweet at us. Thank you for watching.